Hi, time for another update from Prophecy in the News. I'm Gary Stearman. It's Wednesday, the 15th of February already. War continues to build in the Mideast. I wanted to read a prophecy here uh, from Zechariah chapter 10, uh, talking about uh, the tribes of Israel being gathered from all over the world in the last days. And the fifth verse says, And they shall be as mighty men, which shall tread down their enemies in the mire of the streets in the battle, and they shall fight because the Lord is with them, and the riders on horses shall be confounded. And I will strengthen the house of Judah, and I will save the house of Joseph, and I will bring them again to place them, for I have mercy on them. And they shall be as though I had not cast them off, for I am the Lord their God, and I will hear them. That's an amazing prophecy. And, and you know, that prophecy goes all the way back uh, to the early leaders of the dispensational movement and the foundation of the Zionist movement in the late 19th century, early 20th century that paved the way for the regathering of uh, the diaspora, Israel scattered to the four corners of the world, called back to the land beginning in 1897, statehood in 1948, and then, of course, there's been a series of wars fought uh, by the enemies who do not want Israel to be there, and we believe that the, the last of these wars uh, is being assembled even as we speak. And I wanted to mention uh, something about Al-Qaeda, because we're hearing two things in the news today. <clears throat> we're hearing about what's called the Islamic Brotherhood, and occasionally we hear about uh, Al-Qaeda. Now, Al-Qaeda is sort of thought to be passe with the death of Osama bin Laden. Not true at all. Al-Qaeda is still a force, and I have here a news item that I think will sort of bring you some new insight. Uh, this was written by uh, Kamran, Kamran Bokhari. Uh, who is a Middle East expert. And he uh, is talking about a propaganda video that's being circulated in Arab countries right now. And it's an eight-minute video clip called Onward, Lions of Syria. And it's been disseminated all over the Middle East on the Internet starting back in February 12th. And by the way, guess who the narrator is? the second-in-command to Osama bin Laden. His name, of course, is Ayman al-Zawahiri. You've probably heard of him. And uh, by the way, he's alive and well and thriving and doing a propaganda film now. So Ayman al-Zawahiri expressed an al-Qaeda support for the popular unrest in Syria. Uh, in about the last week or so, this has gotten a lot of press in the Middle East. Uh, in this video we're talking about, al-Zawahiri is urging Muslims in Turkey, in Iraq, in Lebanon, in Jordan, to aid the Syrian rebels who are battling in Damascus. You know, there's a big, big overthrow underway right now. Uh, the Alawite uh, Muslims, uh, led by Bashar al-Assad, have had a long-standing dispute with the Shiite Muslims. Well, the Shiites are trying to overthrow them, and now being joined with factions of Al-Qaeda. Uh, the statement by al-Zawahiri comes just a few days after a report uh, that named uh, intelligence officials from America as saying that the Iraqi node of the global jihadist network carried out two attacks against Syrian intelligence facilities in Damascus, while in Iraqi Deputy Interior Minister Adnan al-Assadi said in a recent interview with the, the French press, Agence France Presse, that Iraqi jihadists were moving fighters and weapons into neighboring Syria. That's a lot of words to say one thing. Al-Qaeda is leaving other countries and focusing its power in Syria right now, and their efforts, at least according to their hopes, will be to overthrow the Alawites that are now in control over Syria. Having done that, they will form a power wedge that runs from Tehran all the way across Iraq, all the way across Syria to the Mediterranean Sea, and that consolidates the powers of Hezbollah and other groups 
into a massive force. It's being done by Al-Qaeda, but wait just a moment. There's another important element to this story. Here's a paragraph. Al-Qaeda's long-term goal has been to oust Arab governments to facilitate the return of a transnational caliphate. In other words, they want to unite the Middle East under one power structure. Its tactics have involved mainly terrorism to cause U.S. intervention in the region. Al-Qaeda has hoped that such interventions would turn would in turn incite popular uprisings that would take down the Arab regimes, opening the way for jihadists to eventually take power. The word is jihadists, but really we're talking about Al-Qaeda. And so far from being uh, passé, far from being overthrown, Al-Qaeda is coming back stronger than ever under the leadership of Ayman al-Zawahiri. So remember that name. It's not Osama bin Laden anymore. It's Ayman al-Zawahiri. And the single thrust of al-Qaeda now is to overthrow Syria and to create this massive wedge of power from Tehran to the Mediterranean Sea. And they appear on the brink of doing it. So we have this. One final element. <clears throat> Al-Qaeda's extreme transnational agenda has always had limited appeal to the Arab masses. Popular unrest in Arab countries and the empowerment of political Islamists via elections in Egypt and Tunisia have underscored the jihadists' irrelevance to societies in the Islamic world. The jihadists have failed to oust a sitting government anywhere in the Islamic world, even in Afghanistan, where the Taliban's rise to power in the mid-1990s occurred in a power vacuum. Recognizing their limitations, jihadists have focused on conducting attacks intended to create crises within target countries and in those countries' external relations, as is the case in Pakistan and in Yemen. The jihadist hope has been to create enough disorder that they would eventually be able to seize power. We're talking here about Al-Qaeda now, being at the head of the jihadist movement. In the Western news, this movement is often referred to as the Islamic Brotherhood. And, by the way, the Islamic Brotherhood has been given aid foreign aid from none other than our own country, the United States, in the hope that the United States could set up, uh, for example, an Egyptian government that would be favorable to us. The other side of the story is that the Islamic Brotherhood has been infiltrated and is now being guided by Al-Qaeda, which is a growing force in the Middle East, currently focusing its power in Syria. It's an amazing world that we're looking at. And, of course, uh, we've talked about this, uh, this advancing battle, this northern invasion that is predicted by virtually every Old Testament prophet, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel. Daniel uh, speaks of, of a force consolidating in the latter days. The minor prophets, in particular Zechariah, they all talk about this incredible uh, force that will consolidate and then invade Israel from the north. And I, I do believe the news media uh, in various ways are confirming that we're seeing that actual event occur uh, right now. Well, interesting. Keep looking up because, you know, as we always say, Jesus is coming soon. And he is.